There are creepy and scary things happening out there. But what happens when police who are meant to maintain law and order come across these events? Here are 10 times scary moments were caught on police body cam and dash cam, starting with an officer who met with a real ghost. Police got a call to investigate a haunted house where creepy sounds and movements were heard. A cop responded and arrived at the house. On his arrival, he went into the house to unveil the mystery in it, but was baffled at the things he saw and heard. He checked every nook and cranny, calling out a supposed suspect to surrender. It happened just like in the movies when a ghost-like human out of nowhere appeared in the dark with bloodstains on her clothes. This sight alone was enough for anyone to abort from further search. But in this case, it wasn't so. This brave officer, though scared, attempted to arrest this human ghost. But in the blink of an eye, he was attacked by the ghost leaving his body cam on the ground and the ghost standing in front of his body cam. What happened next remains a mystery. Police department, anybody in here? Show your hands. Make yourself known. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Right now. Trinidad King One, did you copy that? <laughs> As we can also see in the next case on 22nd November 2021, a young lady who felt there was an intruder in her house called 911. On the police's arrival, the young lady assured them she was home alone before going shopping, but on her return, she met her door open which made her believe she had been burgled. I, I left for a while to go shopping and when I came home, the door is open I think somebody broke it. The officers, prepared for anything, searched the house. Strange sounds unnerved them. They split it up and remained vigilant. A door opened and the room was empty, but they continued with the search. They couldn't find anything, but these officers surely deserve applause for showing so much bravery. In the next case, a patrol officer swore he kept seeing shadows on and inside an abandoned building. This body cam caught eerie shadows in the abandoned house, but that was just the beginning. A chilling sound echoed through the empty rooms, sending shivers down the officer's spine. As he tried to compose himself, invisible footsteps passed by, adding to the unsettling atmosphere. In fear, the officer immediately went to his patrol vehicle, reminiscing on what he just heard. Surely that is one of the creepiest experiences he ever had. I'm at site 422. This place definitely gives out some creepy vibes. I keep seeing shadows walking by. If you thought the officer in this instance met with a frightening incident, wait until you see the next one. In a Florida high school, a janitor found himself trailed by a ghostly presence. The school, once the site of Ridgewood Cemetery, held 250 to 268 burials in the 1940s and 50s. Forgotten over time, the cemetery remains noted on the school district's deed records, casting a haunting shadow over the grounds. On this fateful day, a party was held by students in a classroom at King School in Florida. The classroom was covered in confetti and several balloons. After the departure of all students, the janitor went to clean up the mess. But at that moment, something unsettling occurred. All the balloons were together except for a red one standing alone in the corner. 
The janitor focused more on this red balloon, but it kept following him, which freaked him out more. He said, no matter where I'm at in the classroom or whatever I decide to do, it just keeps following me. Things worsened for the janitor as for a second, a shadowy figure was seen running across the back of the hall. The janitor alleged that his predecessors had warned him of strange things going on in the school at night. It is believed such things happened because the school was built on a cemetery. Um, I was in here cleaning up after some students had thrown a party, but um, what's been freaking me out is this one right here. Uh, no matter where I'm at in the classroom or what I decide to do, it just follows me. And do your thing, you stupid balloon. Got you on camera now, so let's just, uh, mm, see? That right there. Um. Driving alone along a deserted, dark road late at night can be spooky. In the next case, a man came across a female ghost. In 2019, a man found himself driving down a desolate highway late at night when he encountered a terrifying situation. A human-like figure, resembling a zombie, staggered along the road, leaving a trail of blood in its wake. Intrigued and concerned, decided to investigate why a woman was out alone on such a dark night. What unfolded next was beyond his wildest imagination. Fearing the unknown, the driver quickly reversed course and sped away from the terrifying scene, desperate to escape the haunting encounter with the self-destructive woman. She was referred to as a human creature, because obviously no human can function properly in that state, but she did. Who this woman was, and the reason for her stabbing herself, is still unknown to date. Driving alone along a deserted dark road late at night can make you see things, but it was different in the next case involving a cop whose ghost sighting was backed by eerie dashcam footage. On March 28, 2018 in Kulim, a car drove past a woman wearing red walking slowly along the roadside in the same direction. Her face was hidden from view. The driver, unfazed, carried on. But then he saw the woman again, matching his speed. Doubt crept in, but he sped up. After a sudden turn, something unexpected happened. The woman appeared once again, but this time around, she stood still in the middle of the road. The frightened driver slowly reversed his car to avoid being harmed by this mysterious woman. To date, no one knows who this mysterious woman was. Although the driver's case was creepy, the next case involved a hospital security guard talking to a ghost. On 11th November 2022, a security guard at a hospital in Buenos Aires, Argentina, was drawn to what seemed invisible. He stepped away from his desk to remove the retractable belt barrier from the stanchion. The guard was seen writing on a clipboard, but things became more scary when he was gesticulating and making hand movements in a way that showed he was trying to explain to someone the right direction to follow. It was reported by local news that the guard had registered the name of a woman who died two days ago at the hospital the previous day. But the hospital media claimed the doings of the guard was a prank. Could this be real? Or was it just an act of fiction? Imagine having experienced this and something similar happens again. In the next case, a security guard was captured talking to someone we couldn't see. The guard alleged he was talking to a customer but never knew he was talking to a ghost. The guard was talking to an invisible being. When questioned by his colleague, he insisted it was Miss Abigail inquiring about Mr. Griffin. However, 
Miss Abigail had passed away two years prior. On hearing this information, he was gripped in fear and he ran for his precious life. Dispatch to 329. Yes, sir. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to a early lady. I saw her walking by the store and uh, she said she's looking for Mr. Griffin. Her name is Miss Abigail. Did you say Miss Abigail? Yes, ma'am. She says she wants to see Mr. Griffin. And I told her that... Uh, the canvas is closed, that she should come tomorrow morning, and she might see me the prison. Are you sure you're saying Miss Abigail? Like, she's been passed on for two years now. Oh, I get what that means? Miss Abigail, is, she, she died two years ago. You mean you can't see the person I'm talking to? No, there's nobody in front of you, at all. Could this guard be playing a prank on us? Or was he actually talking to a ghost? I'll leave you guys to decide in the comment section. Playing pranks on people can sometimes be exciting, but how do you react when that same prank leads to arrest? Let's find out in the next case. On a quiet night, two frightened 14-year-old girls reported to the police department and officers were able to calm them. The girls gave their statement saying a car stopped and two persons dressed as clowns jumped out and started chasing them while they were taking a walk on Minnesota Street. In fear, they fled thinking they would be attacked by these clowns. Officers immediately went to the area. They were arrested for disorderly conduct and could be punished by being jailed for 90 days or paying a $5,000 fine. People often vanish without a trace leaving behind their loved ones and baffled investigators. Some of these cases are eventually solved, but many remain unsolved for years or even decades, just as it is in this next case. A young woman was stopped by an officer for overspeeding and ignoring stop signs. The officer decided to do a traffic stop check on her demanding her driver's license and registration. The young lady appeared to be very cooperative, and we can assume she was telling the truth. In the blink of an eye, she disappeared. The officer was bedazzled and tried to figure out what just happened but couldn't make any sense of the situation. It was almost like she was snatched or taken by something. Any drugs or alcohol in the vehicle? No, of course not. All right, sit tight, sir. I'll be right back. Okay. Your registration is ex... What the... What the... Oh. Sarah? This is real. What the heck? Sarah? In some cases, the circumstances of such disappearance are so strange and inexplicable that they have been called glitches in the matrix. Some of these cases remain forever shrouded in mystery.